What's up guys, GT here. So I'm sure you found yourself in a situation where you're dialing in a preset and you've got to a point with settings A for example and you love the tone but you want to experiment further and you've got the preset saved onto your bank, let's say bank 317 in this case and you want to change a few things and you want to see how it sounds. So you change a few things and you like the tone a little bit more, but you want to compare it to the previous settings that you had. Now, obviously, XFX2 doesn't have an undo feature. The only way to do a comparison is to save it to a new preset bank. But the moment you do that, you're going to basically run out of preset banks pretty soon. And you're going to have a tough time comparing and keeping track of which ones are latest and which ones are not. That's where snapshots come into the picture. So what do snapshots do? They do exactly what the name says. They take a snapshot of all the settings of your preset and store it in the memory of your computer. Now keep in mind, this is an Axe Edit feature and not an Axe FX2 hardware feature. So the moment you restart your computer, all the snapshots are gonna go away. You can take as many snapshots as you want and you can compare them easily. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how exactly you can take snapshots and how to use them. So let's put two minutes on the clock and let's kick it off. All right, so as you can see, I've got a preset dialed in over here and this is how it sounds. <laughs> Pretty good tone. I've got it saved on bank number 317 at the moment. What I would like to do now is tweak a few settings for my taste and let's say I brought the mids down, pushed the treble up, added more treble, uh, presence and I went into the cab and actually changed the cab as well. Um, let's just change the reverb as well. Let's change it from London plate to a large hall and the modified settings sound like this. <laughs> Now, I quite like this as well, but I want to do an A-B comparison between what I had before and what I have now. The only way to do that, as I explained, is to save this to a new preset number and then switch between the two presets. But no, you can use snapshots to actually make your life a lot easier. So what you want to do is click on this camera icon once you've made your changes. What that does is saves a snapshot of all of your settings onto your computer and you can access that at any given point. So let's go ahead and revert the preset now back to its original state, which was what we had as settings A. As you can see, the preset is now reverted and this is how it sounds. <laughs> And you want to compare this with the new snapshot that you saved right click on the snapshot icon and click on the snapshot that you just recently saved you can save as many of them as you want and they will appear in chronological order i believe from top to bottom and you select the snapshot and as you can see it's going to load in all of the details that you had saved in that snapshot the mids have gone down the caps even changed and the reverbs even changed as well so now you can do an av comparison <laughs> Well, you can actually save a third snapshot as well and what that's going to do is show that as a new snapshot that you save they are timestamp based so you'll have the latest on the top as always now that's pretty much what snapshots are follow for more tips and if you like these kind of videos please let me know in the comments and let me know what else you would like me to cover in the series as well until i see you in the next one keep rocking guys cheers Bye bye